Hi everyone, Kelsey here with another episode of So What's New. And today I have a lot to show you from Northcott Fabrics. We've got three great collections and some wonderful project ideas. I'm so excited to start with the Whale Song Collection and one of those very popular bags. This is a bag panel. So it's a cut and sew panel, um, meaning the bag is printed on a panel with the instructions and all you have to do is cut it out and sew it together. This is about a one hour project uninterrupted from start to finish. Very, very simple to make. As always, you can make it with no interfacing if you prefer, but I like to put in the Bosel. Now I'm on to Bosel double-sided fusible interfacing. And I like that because I've started lining them. This is one of the coordinates that goes with the collection and it is stunning. Uh, we'll take a closer look in a minute. But when you use the Bosel double-sided fusible foam, you can fuse the panel on the front and fuse the lining on the other side and then you've got one unit that you're working with. So I really love that. I actually used a serger to put the whole thing together. Uh, so if you have a serger, this is a nice four thread overlock project. And then I used a sewing machine to fold down the top and uh, stitch. So this is a really good size bag. As you can see, save our C's. Try to use this bag to go shopping when you can instead of the plastics. Um, that's what I'm gonna do this year. And a uh, really nice size bag. Also, another thing I like to do is purchase the inch and a half wide webbing and sew the provided strap onto the webbing. Um, and that just gives it more body. And I feel like it makes the project last longer over time. Your handles won't get all rippled up. They have, they have a bit more stability. So this is the first project. And we've got the panel right here. I didn't cut one off the bolt, but if you followed me for a while, you know how this works. One panel has all the pieces, including a little pocket there. And it is, a 26 inch panel. So if you're going to line it, this is the lining that I chose. It is so stunning. It's a watercolor, blue, green, purple, lots of movement. If you're ordering online, you'll wanna get a yard and you'll just have a little bit left over. And we have some other options here for you as well. This one's beautiful. This Orca print pulls all the colors together. It's beautiful as well. And then a nice purple. So that is Whale Song. Coral. Next, we're gonna look at Creation from Northcott. This is the main panel in the collection. It also has a watercolor effect. Look at how stunning and there's a free pattern to go with this panel you can create a wall hanging and a runner set this just came in so we haven't got it, gotten around to sewing it up yet but the pattern is free we're going to have it printed in the store and we're going to have a link for it online let's take a look okay so the wall hanging uses the main part of the panel it's a 31 by 37 inch project and then there's a nice table runner that ends up being 15 by 28 that uses this bottom portion here. Very, very simple to sew project. So if you're looking for some new home decor or you need to give somebody a gift, this is the quick one here. So the panel's available and then it doesn't require much to go with it. It requires this border love the inky effect of these this one is not in it but you could certainly include it if you like that's a wonderful stripe there and then these two are my favorite this looks like the tree in the main print and it's kind of a pebbly look and it comes in green as well 
So we definitely can't wait to see what you create with these stunning prints. Okay, next up from Northcott, we have Morning Blossom. This is a beautiful spring floral collection that features a, another cut and sew project. This is an apron printed on a panel and it's printed on canvas. Let me not cover my mic here. So that, that leads me to believe this would be great for gardening because it's on a little bit of a heavier duty fabric and it features beautiful flowers and butterflies and nice writing on the background to make it interesting. So if you like a fast, gratifying, easy to sew project, we've got an apron here ready to cut and sew. Okay, next we have a sample if down here of a table runner. And this is a very simple table runner that combines the different prints in the collection. And one thing it features is this product we sell in a few basic colors like black, white, red, and navy. It's called Sash in a Dash. And Sash in a Dash is fun uh, because you can combine blocks like you see here in a dash. So I'm just using the end of the table runner just to simply show you how it works. You put your project in the center there and pin and sew. And so once that side's attached, you take your next block, insert it into the other side of sash and a dash, pin, and sew. And so that's how all of the blocks here are connected. And I just think this product is so great because it makes things go so much faster. You can certainly use a decorative stitch on the top. We just used a straight stitch here. Um, but sash and a dash, if you have never heard of it, we sell it by the yard. This is just a little strip for demo purposes, but we have it by the yard, both in store and online. So let me show you, this is a giant table runner. There's no pattern for it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You can measure your table and um, choose some beautiful coordinates and start quilting and sewing them together. And I'm just gonna run through the coordinates of Morning Blossom so that you can see. We've got a nice lime green tone on tone there. A beautiful stripe, the stripe is all throughout. This is a bigger, bigger print here. Flowers and butterflies, always popular. And then some other other prints in Morning Blossom. And a beautiful green leafy print. Okay, that's everything that's new for today. It's all available in store or on sewing.net. Thank you so much for following along.